not as young. The women are cheap. And the Pabst Blue Ribbon is ice cold. You've had a long day selling your parents' possessions to buy heroin. And once you finally put together some long green, the teenage hooker that lives across the street doses you, takes all your cash and your new Jenna torture CD. You barely have enough time to steal a car, drive to the satanic sex cult commune to worship the devil with rock bitch. And now, it's time to relax and delve into the extravagant world of the great humanitarian, Mr. Alan Wrench.
see my best Allen wrench description. That's quite difficult. Um, now that you placed me on the spot. You just said it. Has a very kind side. It likes to keep it a secret. <laughs> That's humorous. It's true, you have your public persona and then you have what you are. Oh yeah, what am I? What are you? Think uh, deep down, you're a good guy, you're a nice guy. Be besides being um, punk rock superstar. It's not a hate, it's a jealousy. Let's means you have this jealousy of Alan Wrench. The ultimate, the biggest, <laughs> the greatest punk rock star. Wait a minute, cut all time. In. So why do you hate lesbians so much? Die Frage war, warum der Leiter der Gruppe Kill Alan Ranch diese verdammten Lesben so hasst. First of all, it's a big mistake that I hate lesbians. I don't hate lesbians. Alan Ranch lesbians, lesbians hate me because yeah. I am the fucking the definitive, Shut up. Well, I am the fucking big. definitive punk you rock star. Like women. My fucking band is 100% influenced by rock bitch. I have so many fucking dykes that are fucking junkies and glue yeah, sniffers yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, in my blah, harem. Blah, blah. It's, it's a jealousy thing. It's a total 100% jealousy thing. Jealousy all on these your chicks, part. All these chicks want to be, they're fucking backstabbing each of their friends. Oh, I hate Alan. I hate, I hate Alan. Oh, I'll stab this back, this fucking knife in the back of my friend. And then, oh, and their, fr their friends get out oh, of the loop. Oh, oh. And then I'm the next guy that fucking that rolls oh, in there yes. and fucks them. It's a total 100% jealousy thing. I don't hate lesbians. I love no, lesbians. Wait, wait, Lesbian, wait, 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 lesbians wait. are number one in the wrench stable. What do you think of that, baby? <laughs> Alan Wrench, well, you wait, said dick. Wait, wait, no, wait a minute. You guys are just jealous that I fucking get more pussy than you do. <laughs> that is the bottom line. That is the bottom line. The main aussage of the band leader of Kill Alan Wrench was that he gar not the lesbian hast. It is more so that the lesbian eher neidisch auf him sind, weil he nämlich viel mehr Fotzen im Endeffekt hat als die Lesben an sich und das ist was die äh, Lesben sauer macht und ich muss dann natürlich dem Lieder äh, völlig zustimmen. Ne? Ähm, ich war mit dabei jetzt, in, 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 in große Konzert war und es ist einfach so. Er ist der große Meister der Groupies. Er pullt die Chicks und es ist einfach so und ich kann jetzt völlig verstehen, dass die Chicks, äh, die, die Lesben unheimlich neidisch auf ihn sind, weil er alle wegfickt, was kommt. Getreu den Oschekschen Axiomen. It's not much one can add on to superstardom now, is there? That's, the, that's a curse. It, it's the that's curse, the curse that of superstardom. You know, like David Bowie said. Mm -hmm. Like David Bowie said, uh, you know, fame something you want until you have it. So how do you live with such a monumentous curse? Like a fucking god and fucking lots of chicks and drinking lots of booze. Nice. nice. Loaded behind the wheel every goddamn day. My life is like a heavy metal video. Chicks, booze, muscle cars, starlets, wannabe starlets, starlets on the, on the way down, porn chicks trying to get out of the industry, porn chicks trying to get into the industry, chicks that are dying and bending over backwards to suck and fuck their way to the top. That's me, baby. You Dude. enjoy that, huh? Oh, yeah. Don't feel like anything's missing from your life at all. Um, one thing missing from my life Roll Besides bladder control. <laughs> There's a lot missing from his life, he just doesn't know it. And that's the sad part about Alan Wrench. He just doesn't realize any of it. You know, I think the only thing missing from my life is a uh, is another Corvette. I like the Corvette I have right now. Uh huh. I like to have like a brand new one, you know, convertible. Yeah. You know, with a with a uh, a dike in it, with really big tits. Why a dike? Because lesbians are uh, they're they're a curious thing. How are they? Lesbians, curious? well, they put up this big thing. For, first of all, 
I'm totally convinced that lesbianism isn't even a sexual preference. Okay. I'm totally convinced that it's actually a political orientation underneath a, a, a guise. I think uh, lesbianism is just another branch of the uh, of the Democratic Party. You know, anything like that, any of that so liberal like crap. So kind of like feminazi type mentality? I, I've never said feminazi. A feminist, definitely. Liberal fucking con. You, know, you have a Republican screwing some chick. These feminists get all pissed off. You got Clinton but fucking some intern, and it's okay. You know, we've got to get past this. You know, the lesbianism, I know so many chicks, so many dykes that are just like, you know, they're all uh, curiously, you know, they got the rainbow stickers on their car, they wear the rainbow necklaces, and when we're alone, curiously they want to be smoking my pole. Smoking your pole. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But it's but they're afraid to do it in public, you know what I mean? You know, they don't want, they, they still want to, they want me to fuck them. They want my big, thick, black dick in their butt, but then they don't want, uh, they don't want their friends to know, you know? Well, I think everybody feels that way. They don't want any of their friends to know they're fucking you, Alan. Yeah, but, hello. Why do you think that is? Because they're afraid. Afraid of what? They're afraid of uh, superstardom, spotlights, the National Enquirer, the uh, Star the, Magazine. The, the National Enquirer. Yeah, they don't want to be. They don't want a picture of me and them. I mean, what are they going to tell their parents? Hey, Alan Wrench is a nice guy, but he's fucking him in the ass. So still keep, you know, keep the college money coming. Musical influences. Oh, shit. My my musical influences are, are number one, uh, a band from uh, the UK called Rock Bench, and number two are Heroin PCP. Joan Jet. Basically, tonight I want to get here and get all fucked up, do some red hot rock, and uh, start screwing the groupies. I'm looking for, I'm looking to score on two, on, on two like lesbian chicks. Many of them. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's just, just, you know, whatever. I mean, if you're halfway, you know, if you're in the middle of fucking one of them and you don't like her, you decide, then you just throw her out and just, you know, call in the next one. You know, yeah. my dick has got its own uh, take a number machine. You know, when your number's called, right, just kind of right bring there your slut the bed ass. There. Yeah, bring your slut ass into the bed and uh, and get ringed. <sighs> it's great. Is there anything you prefer to do rather than uh, than eat? Eating, eating, fucking and uh, yeah, drinking. <laughs> and drinking. Yeah, I like drinking. My favorite drinking partner is Tom Waite. Oh really? Yeah. You, you and he pretty close? No. On an upward scale, but I take any chick, uh, any chick I get my home. He is just like Joan Jett. No, Joan Jett. Hey, Alan, I need a call. Are we ready to rock? Okay. All right. Straight from Germany, I want to introduce you to the, uh, a very scary man, so you guys better be nice. Boris, come on out. Schönen guten Abend, meine Damen und Herren. Ja, ich bin frisch eingeflogen worden hier von Deutschland und bin einer der Gründer von KDSS, damit ihr erstmal mal Bescheid wisst, ja. KDSS ist einer der führenden Sau-Clubs in Berlin. Wann und einer unserer... Die ersten Direktiven ist War Against Sobriety. Mitunter bin ich ein Schüler, der erste Schüler von Oshek DSF, Großmeister des Kamasutras, dessen Direktiven oder dessen Axiome besagen, if ein Zeichen, denn gleich ficken. Hasen, die ficken wie die Hunde. Und Das, was am wichtigsten ist, zieh weiter, Junge, zieh weiter. Ich bin hier nach Amerika gekommen, um einige von euch Weibern, die hier sicherlich im Publikum vertreten sind, Groupies zu ficken. Ist klar, oder? Wunderbar. Ladies and Gentlemen, Punk Rock's most important band, Kill. Ellen
drunk, do you notice that he's there? No. <laughs> so you guys are just kind of two solitary drunks joined together. There's a bunch of people around. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. You usually like to have a lot of people around you, don't you? I usually do have a lot of people around me. They're always tra- they're trying to gravy train off my stardom. And what do you think about that? I mean, all these people around. I think it's cool tales. because you know, I mean, that's what it's all about. You know, it, it's the uh, it's not just I'm a star and all you other people fuck off. You know, uh-huh. it's like I'm a superstar, but it's like all my friends. It's a gravy train. All my friends are riding for free. That doesn't bother you at all. No, it's cool. People are friends with you just. Because they want to ride your gravy no, train? No, because, no. Well, they're not. I mean, I have a lot of people, friends of mine that are just, that are well, friends of mine before, uh, um, you know, I became the, the super international superstar that I am. Mm-hmm. And uh, they were just like, you know, they've always been around. I mean, it's not they're, they're hanging out because they, you know, think they're going to get something. Um, because usually, I'm hanging out and getting bond, I mean, all the heroin and PCP and money and stuff comes from the people just hanging out with me. You know how much money I spend a year on drugs? How much? Nothing. Really? I don't spend anything. You just have a ton of people that give it to you for free? I don't know. It's just always there, huh? There's, yeah, it's everywhere. It's like the, uh, I don't know. It, it's like I live in the middle of, of like a big, um, it's like a pussy plantation. You know, it's just like, it's growing on, plantation. it's growing on trees, you know? So, you know, like, Eventually, everyone does fall if our stardom does fade. Oh, not me. No? I'll be superstar forever. How are you going to manage that? I'll tell you, baby. Talent. You're just jealous because I'm fucking your sister, you fucking faggot. Get your fucking little fucking shoe polish box up here and shine the backside of my nuts, you piece of shit. Would I rape your sister? Here, hold on. Can't stop getting high! Did I fuck your sister? Fuck you, you piece of shit! Would I fuck your sister? Fuck you, I fucking fuck you. Would I fuck your sister? I've been drinking skinhead away. This song, this is all, this song is to my new fucking uh, friends here, the heterosexually impaired. This song is called Beautiful. Beautiful, right? I think you're beautiful with your black eye. I think you're beautiful. I think you're beautiful And I've got the news Oh Fucking asshole Fuck you, you piece of shit You fucking German asshole Fuck Germany Fucking unity, motherfucker Oh! 
why is hate edge music so internationally popular? To whereas you don't, it's still kind of an underground movement here, but yet you're an international superstar. No, it's not underground at all. It's uh, it definitely is on the international scene. Uh, Europe, Japan. The the Japan thing is really, really amazing. That Japan has really kicked in that that hardcore. Um, nothing from Africa yet. Brazil, Brazil. The, uh, the the Brazilians seem to be really into it. The reason why Hate Edge is what it is is because what everybody wants to do, but everybody is afraid to do. Okay, Hate Edge is the exact opposite of straight edge. Okay, straight edge music is, you know, don't drink beer. That reminds me of get beer. Don't, uh, you know, have sex. Don't um, do any kind of drugs. You know, do everything your parents say. You know, it's everything that a real, legitimate human being would not want to be. See, with hate edge, not only are you gonna, you know, drink a beer tonight, you know, while you're like 17, but you're gonna steal the money from your mom's purse and steal her car keys and steal her car to go rob a liquor store to buy or to steal the beer that you want to, you know, that you're gonna drink tonight. And uh, and basically, the message of Carolyn Wrench's hateage is, you know, with drug use, intravenous drugs use, and speed and crack smoking. You, uh, the early users don't see the uh, long-term users. They see the people that are uh, just starting out, and uh, they think, "Hey, this is cool." But what Kill All and Wrench and Hate Edge says, you know, "Hey, drugs actually aren't that hot and that cool." So what you want to do, it's really destructive. It, it really, you know, if you let it, which you know I wouldn't let it happen to me because I'm, you know, in control of everything I do. If you let it, they could really screw up your life. And so the the biggest message of Hate Edge and Kill Island Ranch, I would uh, say to the uh, youth of America, <laughs> uh, Germany, UK, Japan, Brazil, is uh, become an addict at, say, I'd say about 13, 13, maybe 14. That way you have like uh, two or three years of uh, hardcore drug use before you decide, hey, better go to rehab and clean up. And then, uh, you know, then you still have time to sober up and get clean by 18. You can still go to college and, uh, you know, have a kick-ass job, you know, with the Korean Mafia or something. You're messing with, this is a state judo champion here. I'll fuck you up, bitch. Hey, this guy wants to lick my butt. Are we going to put up with that? Eat my ass, you piece of shit. Oh, my, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Is it, is it, can, how can we keep these fucking fags out of this place? Shocking, shocking. It's called My Bitch is a Junkie and it's about your sister because I butt fucked her. You seeking fucking faggot. So who do you think is the greatest artist of all time? Elvis, Jerry Lee Lewis. For what kind of art form? For for uh, for painting, or for no, movie, for, for or music? For music. Yeah. Like, where do you get your? Who is your muse, basically? Who do you identify yourself with? Muse. Here, when you say things like that, one of the uh, one of the basics you have to uh, comprehend here. Was dealing dealing with a uh, a porn meddler like myself is that I am uh, hetero compliant, so the term "muse" doesn't go well with people that are you know heterosexual. It has nothing to do with being heterosexual. It sure just... does. Anybody that says "muse" is a fag. It's not true at all. Many great artists. Okay. Have a muse. So who do you think is great? As far as in music? Well, you're the one asking me the question. 
Well, in, in music, there's throughout the years, there's been several fantastic forefathers of, of music. Everything from David Lee Roth, which is actually fucking a kick ass dude. David Lee Roth, not so much. What's wrong with David Lee Roth? David Lee Roth kicks ass. David Lee Roth is trying to beg his way back into a, a band. It's David Lee Roth, pretty shameful. David Lee Roth is the greatest, single greatest rock superstar of all time, flat out. David Lee Roth, David Lee Roth is, is great. total glam rock to the extreme. Superstar. Doesn't matter what band David Lee, David, David Lee Roth could be playing a fucking, a Quaker oatmeal fucking bucket upside down on the corner of uh, Santa Monica and La Brea and he would be the big he would be the greatest superstar of all time no even if they were giving away free chicken no one would come David Lee Roth oh that's because you're a lesbian that's not that's how lesbians think <laughs> that's completely the, great, not true to me for music for music uh, the greatest musical artist of all time man because there's people that I think are really cool like Benjamin Britten did the uh, War Requiem I'm a real, real big fan of Requiem's uh Mozart's Requiem is a really kick-ass. Uh, there's been a lot of really good songs. Uh, Iggy Pop's uh, Repo Man song, that was really good. David Bowie's Cat People is really kick-ass. I mean, everybody has their songs that are good. Uh, mentors, I mean, uh, Rock'em Sock'em. I mean, just the Mentors are a... Uh, for coming up with... For being a band that has a lot of hits, the Mentors is definitely uh, one of the top... Uh, Jenny Torture, uh, of the Jenny Tortures, uh, has come up with some, like, three or four really immortal hits. Same thing with, uh, Rock Bitch and Bay from Rock Bitch, and then also Morbid Angel have come out with some fucking powerhouse things, but, but the single most person that has come out with, uh, with the music that has, that has really impressed me the mo most, uh, you know, like Mozart, <laughs> Mozart with, uh, the greatest song, I think the number one greatest song of all time would have to be Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, uh, <laughs> But uh, Mozart has, uh, he's come out with a lot, but I think the guy that really impresses me the most would have to be uh, Tom Waite. I mean, just consistent, just uh, just a deity. I mean, the, the guy, uh, the the poetical fortitude, the uh, the imagery when you hear the music, it's not like you're just listening to music. It's, uh, you know, you get an image when you, when you, uh, you, uh, you hear what he's playing. And I, I keep, uh, you know, remembering all the hookers and all the fucking sluts I was I was fucking when I was in uh, New Orleans. And blues music is hard because I hate northern blues. The Chicago blues totally sucks. Some, didn't one of us, Boris, do you see me some booze in here? Are we all out of the beer? You're supposed to keister it, man. I need some. I need some. Hey, uh, can one of the groupie chicks bring me up some booze? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's now, get some sluts up here. Show us some tits. Now, uh, come on, come on. It's your chance to be a star. I'm recording this for a live international record. Come on. I'm not giving you the mic. Come here and talk your shit. You're the worst band I've heard in my life. We're the worst band that fucked your wife. Well, I'm sorry, guy. You should get her out more often. We don't know, we don't know what's up. Well, hopefully it's not my six inches up your ass. Hopefully it's my six inches up of your fucking sister's ass. Look at it. Hey, hey. Uh, this is a positive sign. Which droopy chicks threw up the condoms? Well, anyway, we're going to take this opportunity. Hey, you guys got two more, so rest. Okay, we got two more songs. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try to stop all this negativity right now. We're gonna stop the negativity. I want all you people out in the audience to push out the jive. We want you to pull in the love. Once you try it out, push out the jive, pull in the love. To rock bitch and our friends in Kadi SS. Pull up the jive, pull in the love, push out the jive, pull in the love, push out the jive. 
child Put in the love Push out the child Push out the child.